Bitcoin is sitting very close to the all-time high and altcoins are not. So what's wrong? What the hell? Is Bitcoin actually better than altcoins? Well, we know what phase of the market this is. But let me show you how it comes that altcoins are lagging and why that's a good thing because now we still have time to prepare for this and that time is actually running out right now. So welcome to the FOMO factory, subscribe to the channel, like the video, check out the Patreon down below and let's get right into Bitcoin and altcoins because that's where the real opportunities are right now first i want to take a minute of your time to talk about an amazing giveaway that i'm doing for you guys as you maybe know i'm running a patreon where you can get into exclusive sales follow influencer wallets like alex becker and elio trades i drop exclusive videos right there show my own portfolio and even give one-on-one -on -one calls now you can win the highest tier for a lifetime worth of 250 dollars per month so as you see there is a bybit link down below i partnered up with bybit because it is time for altcoins again. Bitcoin is doing very well and alt season will come. Now, Bybit has a great selection of altcoins. Therefore, I chose to partner up with them. So if you want to buy alts or sell alts, use the link down below. Sign up. That's the first step. Second step, deposit at least $100. And the third step is just trade like you always do and we will pick the winner based off the highest trading volume now there's always a good reason to sign up because there will be more giveaways in the future and everybody that signed up to the link is automatically selected so there's always a chance to win something now let's ride this bull market together so bitcoin sixty three thousand dollars crazy ethereum thirty five hundred dollars crazy let's start with bitcoin right here so if we look at bitcoin you can see right here that we just need to go up by eight nine percent to get back to the old all-time high and that's the all-time high right but that's just the wick really on closing basis it's more like 65 and a half we already almost went there so we're touching it right now guys and um, that's interesting because if we break this we're gonna go in you know price discovery and that's gonna be super interesting now will this happen before the halving that's interesting right because usually look we had the halving right here well before the halving we did not break the all-time high here though we also had the halving but we didn't break the all-time high until you know, months after the halving here we had the halving we did not break the old all-time high until before or after the halving so that would be the first time ever right so in that case you could say like yeah this time is different it could play out a little sooner than we all expect but that's pretty interesting if you ask me so bitcoin is heating up like said time it looks like it is running out uh, to get a good position into bitcoin like and i must say that this weekly candle, 20% is insane. But if you look at the monthly candles, this monthly candle on Bitcoin, 47%. Look, we had a monthly candle here, 46%, 42%. Here we had one, which was 60%, but that was 2019, right? Unless I'm mistaken right here, we never had such a big candle on closing basis, if we close it here today, since the last five years that's pretty pretty freaking interesting if you ask me so that's one so we could have finally a new all-time high before the halving against everybody's expectations it's absolutely insane how that works but yeah it, it's just going very strong right now now again we're gonna talk about hey um altcoins they lagging Right, they're they're lagging it's what it is right but first i want to let you know that if i look at this chart i'm a little like okay let's not have too much fomo right here guys because it is going up like really hard usually after such a hard run-up comes a hard dip right we had um in uh, the last cycle we from the bottom run up all the way 340 percent what did we do right now Pretty close to that I think 306% all I'm saying 
is we also got a good correction after that, right? I'm not, I'm not saying we got such a correction, but it shows like, hey, hard run up is usually followed by a hard crash. But then again, BlackRock buying and, and retail is not even in, uh, in for now. So yeah, it, it, it's really interesting uh, to see. What we also see is that the Bitcoin dominance is going up together with Bitcoin. Now on the daily, it's interesting. Bitcoin is on the daily still green and the Bitcoin dominance now has, you know, so far it's red, but it's not like that insane. But that's what you want to see if you want to see your altcoins go up like hard, right? You want to see that Bitcoin is going up while the Bitcoin dominance is going down. That's an alt season and we haven't seen that in a very, very, very long time. Some people in the crypto space haven't seen it ever, um, but I can tell you that's really, really awesome. Now, if we do take a look at the altcoin markets right here, looks looks pretty freaking interesting if you ask me uh, dude because we have this big resistance area right here right we have massive support resistance coming in at all these places we're just breaking it what the hell we're just breaking it now it could be a fake out we could get slapped down it's the first attempt right first attempts usually don't succeed then again, if we look at Bitcoin, breaking every resistance, no sweat, right? especially since October, basically. We just, we consolidate for a while, but we just break it. We don't get that fat rejection. Um, what also stands out to me, though, is that in a bull market, you usually get dragged up by the bull market support band. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce a little bit, we got under it. But it didn't do much, and then we bounce again. But now we are far above the bull market support band. We are now 43% above the bull market support band. You know, that happened before, right? We were way above it. The thing is, though, that you want to see it bounce. That's a steady growth, right? If you, you know, fly too hard above it, then the correction is usually also pretty hard. So keep that in mind. Um, I mean, last cycle, hey, we were in the same place as where we are, uh, are right now, and we got slapped down all the way to 30K. Again, not saying that will happen. If it happens, I'm buying a lot. <laughs> That's the opportunity that a lot of people feel like, whoa, you know, I was positioned, but I didn't expect it to go this fast, right? No, nah, it, it went absolutely crazy right now. It's absolutely beautiful to see. Now, why are altcoins lagging, right? And you could say like, eh, my altcoins are doing well. Yeah, of course, there are always altcoins doing well. Um, some altcoins, they do extremely well because they are very low cap and they have less liquidity. So they go up harder if the, you know, if the market goes up. The thing is though, again, if you look how far Bitcoin is away from its all time high, it's 9%. If you look at the others chart, so everything in the top 125, excluding the top 10, so really the altcoins basically, right? Then you see that it's, well, 85% away from its all time high. So although Bitcoin could make a new high pretty easily right now, I mean, what's another 8% uh, in a month where you have a 40% climb, right? But altcoins still have a long way to go. You know what it is? If you look at the altcoin market, here in 2018, 17, it made a high, right? When did we break that? Here in February 2021. That's why we broke that high for the altcoin market, right? So we went up to it, we broke it, and then altcoins went from 70 billion to 500 billion. That's like, it's not just a, a, a 6x or whatever it is. It is actually, like I said, like that's the top 125. Can you imagine what coins outside of the top 125 do? They go up much harder. So that's an insane amount of growth. Really, really a lot. Now, it happened in, like I said, February 2021. What, ha what happened with Bitcoin in February 2021? February 2021, Bitcoin was already sitting here, right? Let me zoom in a little bit on that. February, and it was the 8th, so it was here. Bitcoin was well above its previous all-time high already. Bitcoin was already sitting more of double of that. And altcoins were just breaking it, right? So Bitcoin broke it in December. And 
the time difference is not that much. Two months later, altcoins followed. But in that two months, Bitcoin did a casual two and a half X. And then altcoins really started to pop. So again, when Bitcoin broke the all-time high in the week of December 14, 2020, if we go there, uh, December 14, 2020, altcoins were sitting here, right? They were like uh, still battling, really. Still battling to get out of this, you know, little resistance which we had over here. And if we look right now, that's like the same as maybe this place right and again it doesn't have to play out completely the same that's like too obvious but hey it is repeating quite decently so far right so it could be that while bitcoin is you know breaking its all-time high altcoins go up to the well the 0 0.618 actually right we struggle a little bit bitcoin breaks its all-time high and a couple of months later altcoins follow and they go up right that's definitely possible now um again especially new people in the crypto space they are not used to dips right they look at bitcoin and they look at it on the monthly for example and they'd be like well one two three four five six green months and what what kind of green months right unless today it goes to complete shit for some reason could happen crazier things has, has happened <laughs> but overall people are used to big ass pumps Right. So what I do feel is that at a certain point, people are going to take profits, right? Of course, people are going to take profits, especially these big institutions. They bought Bitcoin at 30, 40K. They see it at 60. They'd be like, hey, I 2X my money in half a year. That's better than what, what, what I usually do in five years. Take that profits, right? Then the candle goes down. The new retail, as far as there is new retail. They see that, they'd be like, oh. Hmm, it's red. Shit. Sell. And that causes that domino effect, which could cause a correction. And if you honestly, if you look at this chart, how can you not see a correction coming? But it's definitely possible that we first do this and then have that correction. I don't know. At a certain point, we will have a correction though. That's 100% sure. And that correction will be huge. Fucking huge. Right? Usually, you'll see 30% corrections in a bull market. If it's 40, 50, 60 even, I won't even be surprised because we went up too fast, too fast. And in the meantime, what do we see when it comes to altcoins? Well, altcoins on their dollar pair, right? So just altcoins, what they are worth uh, for dollars are doing well, right? Because Bitcoin is going up, right? That's simply the only reason these altcoins are doing well. Because if you look at altcoins on their Bitcoin pair, they've taken a pretty big hit. Right, they had a small bounce right here, but now this uh, this month it is already down five percent, and last month already ten percent. So altcoins are more of the slow bleeders, little by little by little, not too crazy as big candles really, except for maybe this one. But overall, they are bleeding against Bitcoin. So it it, it, it is like, were you better off buying Bitcoin instead of altcoins? the last two years fuck yeah definitely and you can of course say like yeah well no because my altcoin is outperforming bitcoin yes there are outperformers but if you take the collective altcoin market and you put it in one chart then you have this one right and this one is going down so overall altcoins are not doing that well yet but that's good right because bitcoin is already giving that fuel bitcoin is making it go up and then when the bitcoin dominance is going down and the money shifts from bitcoin into altcoins that's when we see altcoins really catching up so if i look at my altcoin uh you know uh watch list for example you see coins like uh matic right matic okay cool matic doing quite well right if you look at this like okay it is up at least 2x from the bottom like matic is a little of an underperformer actually but 2x yeah that's mainly this is only because of bitcoin because if you look at matic on its bitcoin pair made a new low this week it's breaking down right so the bitcoin dominance really has to go up uh, or go down a little bit in order to save these kind of altcoins because this is not looking great um but also the altcoins a little more popular these days maybe illuvium yeah if i look at illuvium it, it, it like what the, like hmm, 
could have better invested in Bitcoin than in Illuvium, right? Because it it's at its lowest point, basically. Um, and it doesn't go for every altcoin. Some altcoins are definitely doing well, but even IMX taking a pretty good hit against Bitcoin while IMX is ripping. Chainlink, $20, but still Chainlink, hey, going down, right? Went from uh, 6,400 Satoshis to 3,200. Chainlink going down quite hard as well. If you look at Volker Forge, for example, an altcoin that I really like, sitting at lows, right? If you look at this, sitting at... So it looks like, hey, some altcoins on the Bitcoin pair, they, 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 they don't look good. They just don't look good. But it's maybe a good buying opportunity, right? I like some Ultra, for example. But look at this. It, it made a, a low like last week. Last week. So although some altcoins are still doing well, th these are also quality altcoins, but they're making new lows. And if you have Bitcoin, you can buy that lows because your Bitcoin is up 4x. It's beautiful, right? It's absolutely beautiful. But to now buy Bitcoin, I feel like, eh, nah, nah, right? There are better opportunities in the market right now. Can Bitcoin give you a decent 3x from here for maybe? Yeah, probably, right? But I think that these good quality altcoins can do way more. You know, if we really see new all-time highs for Bitcoin and finally see a... Um, an alt season, which, like said, we haven't seen in a long time. I said this before. By the way, like the video, please. <laughs> 30,000 subs, man. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Um, let me know what, what is your altcoin bag? What, what is the bag that you feel like, okay, if I ride this to the next bull market, then I'll probably be fine. Let me know in the comments. I need some inspiration as well, right? Um, but if we look at the Bitcoin dominance, this is showing when it's alt season or not, right? Bitcoin dominance going up means Bitcoin dominating more. So it's Bitcoin season. Bitcoin dominance going down shows, hey, Bitcoin is dominating less against the rest in the market. So altcoins, for example, means it's altcoin season. Now, we had a big altcoin season here in 2017. We had a huge altcoin season here in 2021. And it's, it's still Bitcoin season, right? It's... Not, not going down like we had this small meh, meh. but if i saw a lot of people saying oh all season begins like oh you're so quick to call that like apparently no alt season here and it might look like yo if 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 we just here right and not here or here can we really get a huge alt season yeah we can because now there are for example this is bitcoin against everything right so also against stables and there are more stables being printed. So that will always be diminishing this chart. So if we take the Bitcoin dominance, but we don't compare it to the rest of the market, but just uh, to the rest of the market, except for uh, stables and also Ethereum. Right? So you really compare Bitcoin to altcoins when you look at the dominance. They have this, right? So Bitcoin has been dominating against altcoins, right? Like, uh, like... You can say whatever you want, but altcoins haven't been performing as well as Bitcoin. That's just what it is, right? But at a certain point, we will go down. And that's where altcoins really, really outperform. And that's the time where you want to be. So, yeah, like I said, if I'm going to buy something, I'm not buying right now anything, really. Um, I think everything is like... Give us a small correction first, right? It, it's now in the middle of the pump, uh, actually. But... If I'm going to buy anything, I'm going to buy the good quality alts, right? AVAX uh, still has a long way to go, in my opinion. Could surpass the alt all-time high, easy. Uh, but it's $40. It's nice, but maybe, you know, if we can get a little cheaper price, would be nice. Beam could definitely fly. Uh, Dicubate has a long way to go up, in my opinion. But also these smaller caps like Domi Online. Um, Good Morning Fam is, an, is, is the only meme coin that I like, by the way. Um, Legends of uh, Illumia. Illumia. 
Also uh, a game that I think looks pretty good. Good, uh, but Ronin Chain, for example, really nice uh, project for a long-term investment. And I think that you know it went to 360. It's now 280. Look, these are these kind of corrections that you were waiting for. People were buying here. It's a little too much for my. Uh, uh, if you ask me, I'd rather buy it here. I'd rather buy it here or here or here. But you know, can't have everything. Um, but IMX, right? IMX, look, some projects are so strong and so good that they won't give you <laughs> a correction, right? But overall, the whole market corrects these altcoins, just go with it. Cedify, same example, great quality. Volker Forge, like I said, you know, it looks like, hey, Volker Forge is flying. But I showed you, I just showed you the, 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 the Bitcoin pair, right? Volker Forge might be up two and a half X, but again, against Bitcoin, this is how it looks like, right? So you can better buy it with Bitcoin. And that's because Bitcoin went up 4x and your stables didn't, right? That's how it works. So therefore, I was preaching so long about, hey, I'm buying Bitcoin. Um, and it works. It shows that uh, that's a great strategy. And I will keep on applying it in the next, uh, next bull markets as well. If you look at the caution channel, this is quite interesting. It turned green in July 23. And if it turns green, it's usually pretty bullish, right? If you look back in history, you see here we have the bear market, red. Red is usually not where it goes down, but more when it's a good time to buy, actually. Um, so let's save this for the future bull and bear markets, right? I'm not going away anywhere. But if it turns green, it's usually like, okay, guys, there could be a correction, but overall, we should be pretty bullish. And it turned green right here. We had a big, big, big bull market. It turned green right here. We had that correction mainly because of COVID, right? We already had a correction. But COVID gave the, gave the final push. But still, overall bull market now it turned green right here and bitcoin is going up it's going up pretty much faster than previous bull markets therefore i feel like oh it's going up too fast i i i don't know man it wouldn't surprise me if we see a fucking huge flash uh, like a washout right like too many people are getting sucked into it right now it's like it again it could go higher but it, it it's it's suspicious on how fast and how hard it is going actually but Nevertheless, once it turned green right here, uh, and let's put it on a monthly. Ah, it doesn't work right there. Okay, weekly. Once it turns green right here, we usually have, uh, well, from green till uh, top of the bull market, 98 uh, weeks. Here it turned green to the top of the bull market. We had 119 weeks, so around 100, 110 weeks, right? It turned green right here, and we are now at week number... 30 right so if it goes to like around 100 maybe 110 should take us somewhere to q3 4 of 2025 which always lines up with like uh, the peaks at the end of 2017 2021 2025 2013 so all in all we might do this like uh, back to 40 whatever i don't know just naming something could happen really believe me and then go up, oh, right? It, it, it's all possible. So I think the best strategy for now is just DCA because you don't know what the market is going to do. And just DCA a little more when prices are low, DCA a little less when prices are high. But I think the risk of not having exposure in this market right now is crazy big. It's crazy big, right? So <clears throat> that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at new projects again. Uh, for example, I, I, I posted about this one uh, a while ago, and also this 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 Meta Horse Unity, uh, kind of comparable to D Race. You know, 4x so far, ripping, right? A lot of new projects are doing very well. Why do I show that? Because you should focus on being early right now. You can, of course, buy on the open market and still make a fantastic return. Don't get me wrong. But if you look at new projects right now, hey, you know, they always perform really well in the market in general. By the time you watch this video, Portal is already out as well. Very curious what Portal is going to do. If it goes anywhere above $2, then we made more than a million dollars with Web3 Wills. 
that's quite insane. So do check out Web3 Wells. Um, my project, we invest in these kind of startups and we invested 30K in the angel round of Portal. Um, but anywhere above four and a half cents is profit anyway. So it doesn't really matter to me. But uh, I think Portal could do really well. We had Heroes of Mafia, which was doing fantastic. We had Pixels, which was doing fantastic. And there will be projects dropped mainly games i think gaming projects in this bull market which are going to blow you away right and don't stay on the sideline you know being blown all the time that's like that's not what you want you want to be involved otherwise what, what are you doing there right so that's a very good reason to follow the channel because i talk a lot about new projects okay um also Check out the Patreon down below. You get into a Discord, private sales coming, influence wallet trackers. So also a good way to find out what the hot coins are. Um, I want to leave it here. Please, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification because it is going to move very fast. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.